guys, welcome to another episode of Garden Deeds. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I grow three different plants from seed. The first being papaya seedling. As a fully grown tree, they really have a tropical look and beautiful flowers, as well as the fruit, which everybody so loves. So let's get started. I don't dry my seeds out at all or rinse them. I just plant them straight into cocoa peats. Yeah, I'm using cocoa peat in a seedling tray and I just spread them out and cover them with more cocoa peat and take them outside and give them a good watering with a watering can and do this about once a day for the next few weeks and within about three weeks you should have seedlings these are growing under a 40% shade cloth and I've been watering them every day I'm going to be picking out the best and strongest seedlings for potting them. I will then let them grow about 30 centimeters. So yeah, I'm planting two in a little pot I want to keep on my kitchen windowsill to see how they do. Yeah, I'm using an inner of a loo roll and it's very environmentally friendly and I like doing this as you can plant your seedling in there and then straight into the ground when you are ready. The reason I do this with some of my plants is because I can't plant them directly in full summer sun as it would be too strong and too harsh for them. So I keep them in these little cardboard holders so that when they are ready they can be planted out into their permanent position. And then of course give them a good watering and do this about once a day for the next two weeks. Just make sure that they don't dry out. And obviously it depends on the climate where you are. Also just press firmly but gently around each new seedling. And after nine weeks since planting my seedlings, this is how big they are. These are really looking good. These were four in a pot and they were under the shade cloth. They've done really well and I think I should be separating them soon and putting them into a pot of their own until they are ready to be planted in the ground, which would be in about six months time. I just love the new leaf that has become all shiny and waxy and the shape of the leaves I absolutely love. I find the plants so tropical and lovely to look at. This pot I used to have two seedlings, one survived but it's doing really well so I'll be keeping that one in there for a little while. Some of them are surviving and some of them aren't. This is why it's really good to plant a few or a good few instead of just one or two because you may just grow two and then they don't survive. So I have quite a few to pick from here and I'll choose the strongest ones.
So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I grow gem squash or winter squash. Of course, chop your gem squash in half and scoop out the seeds with the spoon. Now I have seen and been told that you should dry the seeds out and then you can plant them. I don't. I take them straight from the fruit and I scatter them where I want and I cover them with a good compost mix and of course water afterwards and then continue watering just making sure the soil stays moist. And in about two to three weeks they should start sprouting up and I always have nasturtiums growing next to my vegetables and I just love the variety of nasturtiums. So yeah, I've used a bit of an off-cut of white mesh, which I've used to keep the vegetable off the ground. Because if they do lie on the ground, they probably will rot. So try to keep them elevated off the ground, so there's airflow underneath. You could also construct an A-frame or a square, something, just try to keep them off the ground. Yeah, you can see that the actual vegetable develops underneath the flower and then the flower falls off. Next up I'm going to be growing green beans which has to be one of the easiest plants to grow. You could start off by putting them in cotton wool and keeping them in a nice sunny windowsill, keeping the cotton wool wet or you could use a bottle like this. Just pop the seeds in, fill it up with a bit of water and then put the lid back on and squeeze out most of the water. And then space out the seeds if you just move it about a bit and keep it in a nice sunny windowsill. And then five days later, you should have some growth. After 24 hours, I've had root popping out already. So it's a really good way to grow them as it becomes like a, a greenhouse. And then just to get the seeds out, just place them in a bit of water just so that they don't get damaged. I like to do it this way because as you can see, some of them were duds or just didn't grow. And if I had planted them in the ground or in pots, I would have been wasting my time with four of them. And yeah, I've planted them in the end of blue rolls again using the cardboard. I love doing it this way because now I can plant them straight in the ground and the cardboard will decompose and it's good for the soil. As you can see, when the roots are coming out the bottom or even before, you could plant them in the ground. Make sure they get watered every day. This is going to be the permanent position for my green beans. I've only planted one, still got to plant the rest. And I've planted them next to my tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, which are doing so well. Mm -hmm. 